Hi friends. I wanted to get straight to the point today and I want you to watch this whole vlog because I woke up at like 4.30 a.m. and typically I'm the person that hits snooze on their alarm like five times before I can get out of bed in the morning. And I woke right up in bed and I was like wide awake and I was like, today's the day. Flower, Flower is gonna have her baby or she had her baby last night, but today's the day I can feel it. And sure enough, this morning, I got the email that we have a lovely bay colt, a baby flower, as the lovely uh, lady at the foaling barn said. A flower pot has a little sprout now, so stay tuned for the whole vlog because after I get Doppler done today and fill you guys in on how his vet recheck went, I'm gonna go visit uh, baby Flo our little bay colt. Uh, of course, I really wanted a Dun Philly, and I'm a little sad it's not a Dun Philly because I was really sending those vibes into the universe. Dun Philly, Dun Philly, Dun Philly. Um, but who doesn't love a bay boy? I mean, clearly we have some really good bay geldings here, so can't go wrong with a, a bay boy either. Um, they clearly bring us some good luck and good rides. I am going to tack walk this dude today and do some walk work and then we are starting to incorporate trotting. I will fill you guys in on that after I finish my ride today, so be right back. So um, Doppler is tack walking for 30 minutes still, but we are starting to slowly increase the trotting. We got the clear to start fully rehabbing so we'll add the trotting in slowly increase by a couple minutes at a time and see how he holds up going back to work the check ligament was still a little bit swollen the vet said she was really nitpicking at this point um, so she said start putting him back to work and um, we'll see how he feels soundness wise we'll see how he does he's still sound at this time she does think his coffins need to be done. So, you know, like a month from now, as we get back into the groove of flat work and whatnot, we'll kind of reevaluate that and see how he's doing. We agreed not to jump on injecting anything just yet until we fully ruled out um, his skin being ouchy and uh, the check ligament obviously will nerve block when she when she comes back out if there's any soundness issues um, going forward. So, somebody. So yeah, honestly, the biggest concern right now is actually not the check ligament; it's his skin. In true horse fashion, he's got fungus on the other front leg. So thankfully, that one's not hurting, but he's got skin issues going on both of them and. Um, the left front, the skin is because of the blistering, it's, it's hurting as it's trying to heal. Like the skin itself is very tender. So we're trying to address that. So my care routine with Doppler got a little interrupted, um, yesterday just due to when we had to leave to go see Floey's baby. So I just wanted to quickly run through what we're doing with his skin before, uh, <laughs> before we talk about Flowey's baby and I show you guys Flowey's baby. So right now we have stopped cold hosing and discontinued the antibiotics and the butte. Um, the leg is looking good. So what we're doing right now is washing and treating the skin mostly, um, trying to keep that area covered but dry so it doesn't keep festering. And um, I've just been washing with Dawn. I can wash with like a steroid wash as well, but not every day. So um, I'll show you guys the skin. So I just wash in the morning. You can see a little bit what it looks like, but it's healing really well. So I just wash the skin with Dawn, um, let it dry let it breathe for the day. And I'm putting on an ointment the vet gave me called Dermavet. So we're just really trying to attack the skin right now and just see how it goes from there. And that's kind of where we're at. So that's kind of what's been going on with him. Um, like I said, I don't have to cold hose or ice anymore. Um, he, I've been trying to use fly boots 
with the standing wraps just because it's getting hot and humid. I don't want him standing in standing wraps all the time. So he actually got some fungus on his other leg from that. So that's just kind of where we're at with him and um, we'll see how it goes. So um, it's time to see Floyd's baby. I can't wait to show you guys. Are you ready to see the baby? Is he gonna be a baby? One, two, go. He's such a baby. So Flower had her full on May 12th, and both have been doing really well since. Uh, he's happy and healthy. They have been saying that Flower is a professional. They asked us how many fulls she had, and we were like, oh, this is her first one because she has been so good and a great mom. So I was really happy to hear that. So we decided to name him Goose, which is kind of a funny name, but his sire is named Top Gun. So that's kind of where we got it from. Goose is a character in the movie Top Gun. It was really such an amazing opportunity to get to go see a newborn foal. I've never been able to do that before. And the fact that he's less than 24 hours old in these videos and just starting to walk around and everything, just such a cool experience. I'm so grateful that my boss was able to take me to go meet him and I'm so excited for more visits in the future. I can't wait to handle him and teach him things and be a part of his life. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed getting to see her baby and Flowey. I'm so glad that she's doing well too. I'll see you guys soon.